Hello everyone, welcome to my channel and in all Nepal. This is a video series of Fortran programming tutorial. Today we will be making our first program using Fortran. First thing we will do is create a folder on a desktop where we will save our Fortran files. To create a folder, right click on a mouse, then click on new folder. Let's give a name Fortran files. So folder is created here but you can create a folder using commands in terminal i'll show you that way also to open up terminal press ctrl alt and t so here is my terminal uh, first we need to know our directory that means which folder are we in right now so for that type pwd pwd means present work directory hit enter and it says home bk guru uh, so I'm inside my BK Guru folder. Don't worry, yours will be showing your username instead of my username BK Guru. Uh, let's use command ls. Ls means list. Hit enter, and it say it shows all the files and folders inside my folder BK Guru. But we have to go to desktop folder. So let's use the command cd cd means changing change directory cd and we have to say desktop remember d is capital here cd desktop now we are inside the desktop we, you can check that using pwd also it says home wiki guru desktop so now we are inside the desktop let's create a folder and to create a folder use the command mkdir and give a folder name mkdir means make directory give a folder name i will say practice hit enter okay now you can see folder practice folder is created here and this was the photon folder we created earlier to start writing a code we need a text editor you can use any text editor you like this is my Ubuntu system and it has a default text editor named Zedit. So here is a Zedit. This is uh, a Photon code in Zedit text editor. But I will be using site text editor. Uh, here is site text editor, a simple Photon code. Or you can also use IDE like code blocks to write a Photon code. This is a code block and it's a simple program. Let's go and write a code. Uh, these are the two folders we created earlier. I will delete one folder. Uh, let's delete Fortan files. Now we will be saving our Fortan files inside a practice folder. Now let's open our text editor. I will be using SCIT site text editor. So to open up, uh, let's use the terminal. Press Ctrl Alt T and my terminal opens. First, let's go to practice folder. So CD desktop. And you can do ls uh, to list all the folders you can see practice folder there so again let's use cd practice now we were we are inside a practice folder you can check that by using a command pwd it says home wiki guru desktop practice we are inside a practice folder now let's open a file we can use text editor site scit site and give a file name i will give a file name uh, main dot f95 f95 remember dot f95 is an extension for photon files you can write f90 as well for the older version of photon now my text editor opens and uh, save it using control s now you can check in the practice folder and there is main dot f95 the files we created so let's start writing a code here Let's go to view and check line numbers and we will get a line here 1 and let's use control plus to increase the font. Now let's start making a simple program. First we have to write is program and give a name for a name for that program. I will give my first. You can give any name you want and make in program at last. Now these two things you must write at first and the and main code lies between this program and in program you, 
sorry you cannot write program bef uh, program main code before the program and you cannot write program after the end program here you can't write that uh, you always have to write the main code between this program and in program now i'll write a very simple program using this print uh, hel hello world okay let's save it now this is a very simple program that prints out hello world uh, let's first run this uh, and see its output then we will come back and explain it uh, I will call this okay now to run this uh, we have we need a compiler and I assume you already have G Fortran installed in your computer I will be using G Fortran compiler so G Fortran and the file name file name is main.f95 hit enter and okay uh, now you, you, you if you check in practice folder uh, there is a dot out that is the executable file compiled by the G4 done. Now let's execute that a dot out for that dot slash and a dot out and it says hello world. See our program works. Now let's go back to our photon file. Uh, let's open site same files that is main.f95 and the same file opens. Uh, I'll zoom it control plus and it will zoom. It will make my font larger so here this print statement displays data on the screen so whatever we write inside this that will be displayed in the screen if I write welcome then welcome will be displayed on the output and let's make another print statement and let's write I have 64 equals now there are two print statements now the output will display two statements first one is welcome and second one is I have 64 equals now things to remember here is if you are going to display a text then you should write that text inside a double quote or a single quote like uh, I am good or even you can write you can display simple one character text that is I or J or K or A or you can write number also 34 now remember this 34 is a number here but if it is written inside a double code then the program will consider it as a text is if you really want to write a number then you should just write 34 no not surrounded by the quotes remember always remember if you are going to write a number number can be a decimal also suppose 45.96 don't surround it by a quote if you really want to write a text then surround by a quote welcome again okay now let's run this again I will cut this and I will run first I have to install before running it G, uh, first I have to compile before running it g photon main.f95 okay and the output is created that is a dot out so uh, and and the executable file is created a dot out to run that file a dot start slash a dot out and it runs see I have 64 apples I'm good I 3434 and you can see here the 134 134 starts from the beginning and there is certain spaces between the next 34 that means this 234 are of different type this 34 is a text and this 34 is a number you can check here uh, in the practice file uh, let's check main.f95 and let's put the output side by side see here this 34 is surrounded by the code and it is considered as a text so it is printed from the beginning and this 34 is a number and it is printed uh, using a certain spaces in front
okay here this file is opened in my text editor jedit uh, i think i have not uh, set my site text editor as a default so forget that okay now remember whenever you have to display something you always use print asterisk and comma then you write if you are going to write a text then use the double quote or single quote if you are going to write a number then just write a number or a decimal okay but there is another statement also that displays uh, i'm going to show you that that is the right followed by two parentheses and inside that you write two asterisk in the middle comma so this is another syntax to display something that is the right writ right and two asterisk inside and remember not comma here uh, not comma here like a print now we can write uh, anything if we want to display text uh, as uh, as i said earlier in a single or double quote i will use single quote i love you sorry i love you okay or uh, i'll write another right statement also really good okay now i'll save it and i'll run it g4 turn first we have to compile main.f95 okay what the hell happened okay it says error see here here is on terminated character constant okay so if you look here uh, i started writing single double code but i forgot to close that double code okay now save it and again run it you can use up or left uh, up arrow key to get the previously entered command okay so it is successfully compiled and now a dot out and voila so here i love you and good and those are two statements we used using a right statement so this right also works okay instead of print but uh, it's better to use print for a simple thing and this right is especially used when reading or writing the files or using a format here are two asterisks the first asterisk we have to represent the unit number while writing or reading the files and the second asterisk is for formatting so don't worry about that for now we will cover in the later videos so remember just to display something we use the print function okay this much for this video if you have any questions please write down in the comment don't forget to like and subscribe and we will continue in the next video